Good evening, America First Political Action Conference attendees. I'm Janice McGeehan, Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Idaho. Congratulations on your third annual event and keep up the good work fighting for our country. As Lieutenant Governor McGeehan making a video appearance at the America First Political Action Conference in Orlando last week. That video, which aired Friday and lasted just under six minutes, has hung around a lot longer than that. By Saturday, several organizations and political leaders across Idaho were calling for her resignation. Why? Because AFPAC, which dubs itself the alternative to CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference, being held at the same time in the same city, well, AFPAC has a list of questionable characters. Let's just say alternative is a fine choice of words because many consider AFPAC a conference for the alt-right. Why? Well, because the event is attended, headlined, and organized by supposed white nationalists and anti-Semites. Not all of them, though, but just some of the big ones. For example, the man who spoke just before Lieutenant Governor McGeehan's video played is named Vincent James, or Vincent James Fox, a known white nationalist and anti-Semite. He's the founder of the website Veracity.com and once part of a white supremacist group from Southern California. Then there's the organizer and headliner, Nick Fuentes, who took part in the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville and the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Here he is speaking about writer Matt Walsh on his America First podcast. Matt Walsh, Shabbos Goy race trader. That's what it is, folks. I know some people don't like to use that expression, but it's totally true. Throwing his own people under the bus. He hates white people. Nobody else, nobody else talks like that about their own people except for white people, and it's gross. Race trader. You work for Jews, you know? That's going to get me in trouble. So these are the kinds of people Lieutenant Governor thought would be a good idea with which to share a stage to say this. I need freedom fighters all over this country that are willing to stand up and fight for the protection of our freedoms and liberties, even when that means fighting amongst our own ranks, because there are too many re Republicans who do not exhibit the courage that is needed today for us to to fight to protect our freedoms and our liberties. We are literally in a fight for our lives. Okay, so being a part of that, this is why there's been a backlash to Idaho's Lieutenant Governor, who said, regrettably, she couldn't attend in person. By Saturday afternoon, Lieutenant Governor McGeehan decided to respond to the calls for her resignation. First, blaming the media. And second, she supports many America First policies, she said, saying, I was invited to submit a video to AFPAC, and I took the opportunity to share my views about these vital America first policies. I do not and have never supported identity politics or other discriminatory views that only seek to divide us and not unite us. Anyone who actually listens to what I say or who pays attention to what I've done in my many years of service knows this is true. That statement, though, left a lot of unanswered questions, some of which we were able to ask the lieutenant governor today when we caught up with her just outside of her office. Mostly, did you know what you were getting involved with and if you did, why go ahead with it? There, there's a growing number of conservatives, young conservatives all across the country that are really concerned about the direction of, that our, our country is headed. This America First political action conference, that's who they are. And they're all committed to supporting the America First policies, especially as it relates to our, our wide open borders under the Biden administration. We're losing our country. They're worried about that. They're worried about election integrity. So I was asked to present a video. I wasn't able to be there personally. So I was asked to present a video along with others, Michelle Malkin, Representative Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and a, a few others. Are you familiar with who puts this event on? Like Nick Fuentes? I don't, I don't know who he is. I don't, I've never met him. I don't know who he is. Did you not look into it before you decided to say okay? Like to find out, I mean, his name is on it. Well, you know what? Nick Fuentes, I don't, as I said, I don't know him. I do, he, he's never, I've never met him. I don't know, you know, what, what is, what he's, everything that he says or doesn't say is not, uh, does not reflect on who I am or wh who the thousands of others that are participating in this movement. Okay. You didn't bother to look up his name or anything? I didn't like say that. that. You, you did look him up? You, you didn't, that's not the question that you asked me. 
did you look up who Nick Fuentes was and what, he, he, what he's talked about? Like what he, things he has said? I have since. Since last week, not before? Yes. Okay, I guess the question is, because you, if you've said, well, I'm only Again, here because... Again, it's not fair. I mean, you, the, the mainstream media, every, you do this to conservatives all the time, but you don't do it to yourself. That every time, any time there's any kind of affiliation with anybody at any time on any stage, that we're all guilty by association. And it's not, it's not appropriate. But it, the association is, is not a good one. To be associated with people who are anti-Semitic Stop, stop. Yes. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes. You asked me why I was there, okay. why I wanted to participate and speak to these young conservatives. That's, that's what we're talking about right now. Okay. Uh, Vincent James is also there, correct? Do you know who Vincent James is? I, I've, I've heard of him. You've had your picture taken with him? I did have my picture taken with him. Okay. Do you know what he stands for and things that he has said? No, I don't know all the things that he or anybody else. And again, I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing, that this guilt by association that the media tries to do with conservatives and conservatives only is that if we ever have met somebody once or took a picture with them or ever shared a stage with somebody ever, ever, uh, we're all guilty by association. If you want to know why I went there and why, what my message was, go, go watch my video. I, I did watch your video. And if you so had that's known, what it was all about. If you had known who Nick Fuentes is, would you have said yes? Well, again, this, this, this movement is so much bigger than one individual. Who cares what Nick Fuentes has to say? Who cares? There's thousands and thousands of young conservatives all across the country that are very concerned and about what's happening to our country. We are fighting for the soul of our nation with these wide open borders. It's only a matter of time that America, we lose who we are as a free country. And so, and I'm not gonna run away. I'm not gonna hide from being, being willing and wanting to go talk to young conservatives about these issues. If you say nobody cares what Nick Fuentes says, but people care that you're associated with them or that you share a stage or something Again, like that. You're, trying to, you're trying to do this guilt by association over and over and over again, and it needs to stop. Because if you want to know who I am and why I went there, I told you that. And you know, my, don't assassinate me or my character over something that any individual that I may ever have met in my life, if there are things that, that are said or that they believe in, then that's that person, that's not me. But that's so. not the first time. My point of bringing up Vincent James. There you go. Right? I mean, yeah. that's not the first time you've been associated with, the, with this group. Interview's over. All right, thank you, I appreciate it. And that would have been the end of the interview right there. But we showed you the whole thing. We didn't want to edit any of that out just to let you know you can have the whole thing from beginning to end and hear what she had to say in her answers. And just to point out, when she says, who cares what Nick Fuentes has to say, the entire room of people spent his entire speech cheering him on. So there's a lot of people that saw her video that also cheered on Nick Fuentes. And the guy with the hat, that's, yeah, Vincent James. We did have other questions to ask Lieutenant Governor if she would actually denounce white supremacy and anti-Semitic views shared by those who invited her to speak. We didn't get to that answer or that question, as you could see. In case there was any doubt that Nick Fuentes and Vincent James were being mislabeled by something they said in the past, well, here's a sample of what they said at the conference the same day they played Lieutenant Governor McGeehan's video statement. Western white culture is the majority culture to which even non-whites assimilate into today in many Western countries, and they're better off for it. We've got the white Christian men that built this country the first time, and we'll do it again. This afternoon, the Idaho Democratic Party has called on the Idaho GOP to condemn Lieutenant Governor McGeehan's participation in this event. We reached out as well, but we still haven't heard back. They've remained silent so far. Nick Fuente said one more thing, though, in his speech Friday that might give you a sample of his intentions. We will continue to gain a foothold in state governments across the country. This is the true seat of electoral power in our future. 
And you know, I look at some of the political delegations here tonight, and I've got my eye on Arizona, Idaho, Florida. I've got my eye on a lot of state governments in this country in this decade. They're going to belong to America first. So who cares what Nick Fuentes has to say? Guilt by association might be a defensive pill that's a bit hard to swallow, though, when you not only share the same stage, but some of the same platforms and even the same rallying cry.